Friends and subscribers, what did Clear as Vodka get uh, the past couple days here out on assignment? I'm out and about doing some projects and uh, picked up a few coins. And I thought I'd show you, have a little chat with you. First one that I got that I'm very proud to get is the 2000 mirrored uh, panda coin. This coin is desired by collectors simply because, like I said, in year 2000 they didn't keep track of how many panda coins they minted at the three mints. Um, and the mirrored for sure being the lesser of the two coins, mirrored and frosted. Now 200,000 or so, maybe, coins, 2,000, but among those possibly only about 20,000 mirrored uh, pandas got minted. So this coin is, is quite expensive for a one ounce round. You're going to pay anywhere from 2,000 RMB up depending on the condition. If it's certified it might be even 3,500 RMB or more. I got it for a good price. Um, it was difficult to find, but uh, I'm glad I got it. I paid much more than what you should pay for one ounce of silver, but this is a collector's coin. This is not, you know, something that you're going to sell for spot silver, obviously. And the other two coins that I picked up out and about in an old city are a couple of proof coins, and uh, one is a 1990 proof, and the other is uh, 1989 proof comes with the original certificate from People's Bank of China from back in the day. Um, God, we're already talking about 89 and 90 being a while back, and it's not really that far back at all. It's uh, quite recent, but there's 89 proof. Very good condition. There's that 90 proof. Nice coin. You can tell it's approved by, of course, the P, Privy, that's in the coin. And um, all three of these are going to uh, appreciate very well um, going forward. You know, not just with the rise of China, but with, uh, you know, gold and silver being something that you want to invest in around the world. So I'm glad I, got, I'm glad I found them, you know. Um, I could have paid a lot more than what I paid for those three coins in another uh, outlet. So, um, hey, numismatic in a bullion coin issued by the government. How is that possible? Well, come to China. That's the market here. Uh, I want to talk to you about year to date. As of March, first week of March 2014, gold has risen 11.3%, silver 9.6%, palladium 7.6%, and platinum 7.3 percent. Okay, numismatics. Uh, a Morgan silver dollar has accumulated as much as 8.7 percent, depending on the condition. Uh, St. Gaudens 2.7 percent, Liberties 3.6 percent, Canadian dollar 4.4 percent, and so on. So you can see uh, what's going on here. Uh, as of the beginning of the year, these things have accumulated even more in price and will continue to do so. There's a couple of key resistance levels for gold and silver, but we're not anywhere close to those yet. We will approach those, though, in another month or so, maybe. So we'll talk about more of those later, and uh, hope to give you some more reports on what's going on here. Spring gold and silver products in China should be next. So we've got this billion dollar bracket challenge, uh, Warren Buffett and Yahoo Quicken Loans. Uh, for people that want to guess in the NCAA tournament, the grand prize, one billion. But what they don't tell you is that the odds of actually winning this are so far-fetched, okay? There's the odds, and this is what we've been reduced to. Buying a lottery ticket uh, at an impossible feat of one and 9.2 quintillion possibilities, okay? That's your odds, one and 9.2 quintillion. Okay, that's assuming that you get your address right and that you're able to uh, be notified by email or phone about winning the bracket challenge. 
So <laughs> you have people that think they actually have a chance to win this rather than go out and buy gold and silver and uh, hedge uh, and protect their assets. And this is the economies that we're in nowadays, and this is the times that uh, we are in where people actually believe that they're Superman, Iron Man, or have a chance to win an impossible lottery